Okay, this is the, the head mod that we're going to do um, to be able to control our T800. Uh, this is about 10 minutes work. Basically, what you need to do is return the internals of the head to this state. So we keep this, which is the uh, stepper motor mount for the jaw. We obviously keep the jaw mechanism and we keep the eye section. The things that we uh, lose are that. We don't need the old eye servo mount because we're using a larger and more powerful servo um, because that other servo was crap. As I said, we don't need that servo. It's naff. Uh, we don't need the crappy board. We don't need the really slow stepper motor. We don't need these metal things. And we don't need the head to neck mount either. But we do need to keep the screws that come with that. And we also need to keep the screws that come with this. So yeah, we need to return it to this, this stage. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. I'll remove the jaw mechanism mount. You want to keep these screws and you want to keep this hinge and bracket. Just remove those, put that to one side. There's three screws in here, just remove those. Three of those. And keep the screws obviously. Okay, just pop them to the side like that and you should have this. Now what we replace this for is this custom printed piece here which uh, has a pivot on it to allow the head to move backwards and forwards and uh, yep yeah, it lines up in exactly the same as the old mechanism did. It has three screw holes where the old plate had and that just goes in there like so. See it lines up the three, three screws, one, two, and three there. So we can just pop that in. Because this head that I'm using here is a, a spare kit that I bought especially for these tutorials, I don't have three screws, I only have two. So I'll put one there, and I'll put one this side but there are three and you need to keep yours like that. Really nice and simple. So all the way in. Nice and nice tight, snug fit. So that's locked in there. As I said, you'll have three, and that gives you that exposed part underneath there. Then we need to just pop this back on in the same place that it came off, because we're gonna need this to mount the new servo. Basically, we swap the stepper motor for a servo. Why they put a stepper motor in there, I do not know because nobody opens their mouth that slowly. Not even a robot. So that goes in there. Like that. Okay. In your kit, just put that to one side, you will receive a servo motor with a modified larger eye servo mount. You will need to keep the two screws that you get from your old one. <coughs> Let me just pop that out. Okay, so that's the larger one to have take the larger servo. On the micro servo, you will have a custom horn, servo horn, which is basically slightly cut down horn with a small screw going through it, which locks into the eye left and right mechanism slot that you can see there. So all we have to do first is we have to pop this on first. 
line that up. Screw that on. Oops. Oopsie daisy. Line that up there. There we go. It does have guide holes like the old part does. So just pop it on. Really, really simple. Like so. Okay. That's the custom one on, which means now it can take a big servo instead of that piece of crap. Um, yep, so the servo goes on in this orientation with the screw at the back this way. And basically all you do is you line this screw up with this eye left and right mechanism here, which it is straight away. It goes straight into the hole. Then all we need to do is screw the servo on. Screw the servo on. In your pack you'll have two servo screws and one locking nut. You can use a locking nut if you like to screw the horn on. I don't ever bother, they always stay on. But you can do if you want. And there's two screw holes there to take the servo. So we pop that in there. screwdrivers I tell you. Anyway I'll just put them semi in you get the idea. And that one as well. That will screw all the way down onto the mount. Oh, I need some new screwdrivers. There we go. The new um, mechanisms that I've made, they do have the screw holes already in there. Uh, they're not fully void, so it's, they've got some bite on it when you put the screws in. So that's that. So you'll see that the eyes are actually locked now because it's lined up with the section there. Then all we've got to do is pop in your kit, you'll receive the custom jaw mount. Let's have a servo horn on it already. And all that does is goes in there like that. Yeah, really simple. Has to be flush with that side. Pop this back on. You don't have to over tighten these ones, all it is doing is clamping that piece of plastic on, you don't have to go crazy, you don't have to break it. And there we go, that's that. And you'll see that that horn lines up exactly with the jaw, with the jaw mechanism there. So when that arm moves forward, it moves that forward, and when it moves back, it moves it back. And the range is absolutely fine because we don't need to go far to open and close fully. That is fully open. Yeah, so you'll have a screw that goes through the server horn and through the jaw mechanism. You just line those, line those up and you don't actually need to over tighten it. It's good to actually have a little bit of play in it. So yeah, we just get that in like that. Yeah, so when that horn moves forward, it also moves the jaw backwards and forwards. So basically we've swapped all those bits, so those two bits, basically for all that crap. Total waste, total waste of time. <coughs> In your kit you'll receive a neck servo mount and this is responsible for the head pivot forwards and backwards and also to turn left to right. And it's really simple how that works. That just slides on over the 
mechanism there and you have a locking pin that pin goes through both parts it is a nice snug fit so you can pinch it in with your finger it never comes out and there we have it that's the complete head mod done um, yeah so head forwards and back when we've got the neck pistons attached and left and right I'll do the um, neck video and piston video um, in the next in the next one but yeah about 10 minutes work to do the head after you've stripped it out so probably 15 minutes in total to do the head it is very very simple um, yeah and that's what you're left with with that